Yo, what is up, everybody? XX, all game, no shame here, back with another video. I know it's been a minute. I've been really busy. Had some stuff going on. Went back to school. Uh, had been had to do uh, different stuff throughout the week and throughout these past couple of weeks. So it's been kind of hard keeping up with the videos right now. But I'm trying right now, and I may be streaming later on tonight, or I may upload another Assassin's Creed Valhalla video, and I may stream tomorrow uh, a little bit too. So. Uh, today I'm going to be taking a look at, let me just show you guys real quick. Let me show you, let me show you. The Resident Evil 8, or Resident Evil Village. So they had it as VII for the Roman numeral of 8, and they just separated the bottom of the L to make it look like the Roman numerals and stuff. So, um, I'm really excited. I have been playing Resident Evil 3 again, uh, a lot here, here this past couple, uh, couple of, uh, or few days, and, or this past week, actually, and I've been playing, going through and playing on the hardest difficult each time, so I play, just beat it on Nightmare, I'm playing it on Inferno difficulty, so I'm just, I'm loving the remakes, and I'm loving these new games, especially when I got Resident Evil 7, 7 as a part of my, uh, PSVR, so, we're gonna hop into this and see exactly what we should be expecting from this game when it drops May 7th, 2021. So uh, let's hop into this real quick. All right, so far I'm, I'm seeing that we're in a little dungeon here. Not too bad. Ooh. Broken, but not, oh, okay. Oh, a piece of... Ah. Let's read this. Examine. Two members trying to escape this place. I hope this note will be some assistance. You don't know me, but you will have to trust me if you want to survive. First, you need to get out of the cell. Look around for the way. Get on your hands and knees if you must. Okay. So, it has to... Do I just, how do I, okay, like that. There we go. So you crouch with R3, it looks like the right analog stick. Bingo. Oh yeah, we can open up this way, let's go. Let's look around here. We, got our, we can go in here. A lot of, ooh, was that a rat, dude? Grody. A lot of bodies. The game looks pretty nice. This demo just looks really nice. But Resident Evil 7 did too. I may have to go back and play that. Looks like we're going to need some bolt cutters. All right? Yeah, we're going to need some bolt cutters. Um, ooh. Screech. Hey there, sister. Anything we can do over here? What happened to you, girl? How'd you die? You want to tell me your secrets? One uh, game that I wanted to get into that I never did was uh, Resident Evil, or not Resident Evil, but The Evil Within, both of those. Like, I never played the first one. I watched the second one on the Rad Brad's channel. Uh, that man's the, a legend. Oh, nothing. What was that? Oh, he's got his legs chopped off. Wow. Okay, she wasn't like that. Um, I don't think those were in her back before. Ugh. Nasty man, nasty. Oh my lord! Don't do that. All right. Open up this. Get these bolt cutters going. So I like. I, you know, I've watched a little bit of this so far, just like the beginning, and like, I haven't seen much into where, oh, what's the key? A lockpick. So, I haven't seen much of this, but the thing is, uh, what I heard from a couple videos, or for the only video I really watched, which was the Rad Brad, oh, another little thing, medicines for keeping livestock alive. Very nice there, pretty nice. But what I have seen, or what I've heard, is that, in many instances, we don't know, oh, that's how I got out, 
we don't know, like, apparently this takes place maybe even before or after. Like, it may take place with... Something coming after me? Okay, let's just get out of here. Oh my lord. That is very creepy. I'm kind of freaking out. I'm just gonna go in here real quick. Hang out with my boy. You don't know about this life. I'm so scared right now, honestly. This is. Not the bolt cutters. I'm gonna use the freaking lockpick. Thank you. Oh, this is creepy, man. But yeah, so this this may take place like even before. Okay, yeah. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Can we close that door, please? I don't like that. Let's just get out of here. Oh my lord. Very creepy. Hold up, let's check out something. Can we turn on... Huh. Mm. Alright. Let's follow this way, I guess. There's really nothing in that other area. Yeah, I'm low-key not even gonna cap him. Kind of. My heart's kind of racing. What is this? What is that? That's so gross. Fonse Macabre. Where do we go? Oh. Okay. Oh, I was waiting for my feet to just get grabbed, man. Not even lying. Let's just check this out real quick. Uh Search for the thing you'll need to escape. It'll be hidden. Okay, we already did that. It's the lock pick. Once you get out of the dungeon, you should find yourself in a room. The door there won't lead to salvation. The light will be will lead, lead you down the right path. So that's that. You might hit a dead end, but do not give up. There should be a way to proceed somewhere hidden. So we need to look for a dead end. Up here, there's no way up. Uh, a wine looks like this is very creepy. Huh. Oh, oh, hey there. See, like, June 9th, 1958. This is where I heard, or, like, this is what I heard is why. Because, like, you know, you you take place in a castle and stuff. So, and it says right here, 1958. So, you know, this may take place after, but there's a there's a big possibility or a slight chance. You know, a slight possibility, a big possibility, one of those two, that this could take place before. So, just be expecting that, I guess. It was my first day working at the castle today. I was most shocked to see the masters of the house were all women. The mistress and her daughters were very ad adamant that they wouldn't bite. It was quite peculiar. Uh, June 23rd, 1958. So we got a couple weeks. It's been two weeks since I started working at the castle, and I'm a little afraid. Another maid, Adela, made a mistake and missed Daniela, slashed her face with a knife. Holy crap. And at night, I can hear wailing, as if ghosts roam the halls. I want to go home. Wow. Another two weeks and a day go by. Uh, I don't know what to do. J July 8th, 1958. I don't know what to do. The young ladies were complaining it was too hot and stuffy during dinner, so I opened the window just a crack. Shut it. Shut it now. They all shrieked at me in unison. I fear I may be taken down to the cellar never to, seen of again. to be seen of again. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. 
It's creepy. That's very creepy. So, we I wonder who that is. Looks like Miss Daniela is a creepy SOB. Creepy lady. Sorry, I'm very... Why are you still climbing when I stopped? <laughs> wow. This is going to be, honestly, I feel like this is going to be really creepy and scary. Just because, you know, Resident Evil 7, it, like, upped my horror. Even though I... Oh, hey. Necklace of animal bones just to ward away evil taken from me when I was thrown in that dungeon. Oh, okay, so... Huh. So this could be we could be a, like a kind of like a I don't want to say demon hunter but like a like a Resident Evil Seven you had those those that camera crew of like the uh, uh, paranormal activity guys that looks like a nurse dude that looks like the nurse from Dead by Daylight with that little gown that she's got going on I'm not even gonna cap we got down here. Oh, that grand hall looks sick. That carpet. Chandelier. Here's something breaking around or something. Uh. So, the little lady in the gown went this way. Is that Miss Daniela, probably? Not for sure, though. Not for sure. Um. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Uh. Hey. Hey, you guys. Hey. Sorry, I was testing mic audio. Mic audio seems a little low. May have to ramp that up in the uh, in the uh, the editor. Uh, no Adobe Premiere, because that's what I use to edit. I want to use Sony Vegas, but Adobe Premiere allows me. So I was using this uh, one editing software called Lightworks that was uploading in 720p, even though I was recording in 1080p. So I'm happy to be able to upload and record in 1080p. 60 FPS. It's amazing. Especially those last... Ooh. The last two Assassin's Creed videos I did, I think before that PS5 one, before that PS5 walkthrough episode, they uploaded in 1080p 30 FPS, which is kind of weird. Candidates, uh, Arena, uh, Mahela, Lois, Rajex, Dendora, Greta, Nadine, Camellia, Bianca, Melina, Astrid, Leod Mili, Mila, Leod Mila, Rosalinda, Lena, Stefana, Gabriella. So there's a lot of A's here. Let's check that out again. Okay, no, because they accepted Lois. So it, that's really weird. There's like a lot of ooh, open, nothing. We'll close that. But uh, actually no, keep it open. Screw their house. Oh, we got a blood trail. Huh. But yeah, they, they have a lot of A's. Like, it was like Mahela, Gabriella, and then they also got Miss Adela and, uh, or Miss Daniela and then Adela. So, like, the two ladies. Okay, so we have to go through the bloody door. Makes sense. Come on. Come on, Resident Evil. You two, you two, man, I'm reading you like a book. Oh, I don't want to go in here. Oh, wow. I actually like that scenery. That was really nice. Let's check around here real quick. Nothing. Please don't tell me I have to go out here. So look for a key. Nah. What did I miss, boys? These are like the clothes I'm wearing. Hmm. Uh -huh. Key has to be in here. Nope. Can I just walk out the front doors? I already don't want to be here. 
So that's the way we came down. I don't think we missed anything. Wow. Huh. Someone was drinking blood or something? Very sus. Okay, we need to find a key. It's not a movement. I don't really like it. Uh, I think something, there's someone to be in here. Aha. Nope. Please. Nope. Is there another door somewhere? I heard like a snap or something. Lock the door? No, okay. I'm stupid. Okay, we still need the key, but I can't. Can I forge the piece of paper into a key? That'd be funny. Oh no, I'm trying everything here because I can't find a key. Can I just take a, you know, like a knife and just mold it into that? Just use the bolt cutters and make a key myself? I may have to, you know. Do some cut because like I cannot find this key man and I really don't want to go back upstairs because that place is creepy can I get like a hint of oh yeah let's check this let's check this I'm planning to my uh, the only way is up but watch out don't let them see you okay plan to make my escape tonight and pray that you to make it out alive is she probably the girl that was the one that opened the window or something? Nope, nothing there. On eyes. Okay, so we need to get the eye. But we need to find a key though. Dude, I'm hearing a lot of noises and it's kind of sus. Boys, I do not see a key. Oh, my peeps, I do not see a key. This is the way I came. Yo, no no cap. I just saw that chandelier above me and about like honestly freaked out. Like I about like just flipped my lid, dude. I'm almost 20 minutes in and I cannot okay, I cannot find this key, man. Calm down there, bud. Who's opening these doors? Oh, it's that big boy. Okay. I was like, let's follow the blood. It's like underneath a plant or something for P's sake. Whoa, snap. Guys, I may have to cut it here just so I can find this key and take however much time I need. Oh! Aha. So we got the eye ring, so now we need to go upstairs, put that into the door. Right, so we still have that, yeah. So we need to go upstairs, put this into the door, and then, you know. Yo, 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 yo. Who just went up there? Yo, I'm sketched, bro. I'm sketched right now. Wow. 
Why can't I use this? Maroon and eye shape. Oh, I need to take it out of the. There we go. We got stuck in the door. I thought someone just grabbed me, bro. Holy. Okay, we have made it to the next. Is there a key down here? I heard a breaking again, like someone stepping on a tree branch. Okay, there's the courtyard key. Uh, the winemaking techniques of Castle. Oh, Dimitrescu. Can be traced as far back as the 15th century, long before the current occupants of the castle. Alcina Dimitrescu uses this legendary yet peculiar technique to enrich the wine's flavor intensity and bestow it with a thick bouquet. Is that, is that, that, no, not bouquet. It's a, it's probably bouquet. I don't know for sure. Uh, her best vintage is Sanguis Virginius, Virginis, meaning maiden's blood. Oh, that's neat. It is kept in a special ornate bottle decorated with intricate silver flowers. Maybe we need to find something like that too, like for later on. Yeah. So this is just a demo I was gonna play, and I'm just playing this all the way through. I'm watching you. Oh. Oh my. Oh. Ah. Oh my gosh. Get off me, lady. That was so creepy. Let me out, let me out, let me out, let me out. <gasps> so we finally meet. <laughs> uh oh. Is this supposed to happen? <sighs> Yo, that scared the balls out of me, man. He scared the balls out of me. Holy. This is the deluxe edition that we got here. Uh, look at that. First off, that man's nuts. Chris Redfield, my man. Uh, there's the the hall. This is, looks like we're going to get some outside adventure. There's the maiden. Those. Okay. That was creepy. That scared me. She bit my face. She. That was weird. Who is this? That looks like, uh, what's his name's wife? The dude from the last one. Yep, she's blind, witch. Freaking stuff a kiss there. Whew. Wowza. Well, okay, that was very fun to play. I about peed myself multiple times, though. Um, yeah, this is just all the credits and stuff and all the stuff that you need, so copyright is that stuff okay let's actually read this speed tree programs or something okay so yeah so all the people that actually made it and everything so wow that's crazy guys that's really crazy so we're gonna actually go to the playstation store again and just check this out so immediate payment required of course uh pre-order bonuses mr raccoon weapon charm you put weapon charms on survival resources pack and then mini soundtrack uh experience survival horror like never before in the eighth major installment in the storied at Resident Evil franchise. Resident Evil Village heightened all the pulse pounding action with the addition of the trauma pack and Resident Evil Reverse. Fused after the horror Oh here we go. Oh uh, Ethan. Say so, uh, so after a few years so it's set after, my bad. So a few years after the horrifying events and the critically acclaimed Resident Evil seven biohazard, the all new storyline bring begins with Ethan Winters and his wife Mia leaving peacefully in a new location, free from their past nightmares. Just as they are building their new life together, tragedy befalls them once again. Oh, wow. This pack includes the following content. Resident Evil Village, Resident Evil Reverse, uh, the Trauma Pack. Trauma Pack includes memorabilia such as the Samurai Edge weapon, the, the Mr. Everywhere accessory, a screen filter, special safe room background music, and many more. Items to amplify your Resident Evil Village experience is an online multiplayer Okay, so Resident Evil Reverse is, like I said, it's an online multiplayer that requires a PlayStation Plus account in order to play, which means that it's kind of like Resident Evil uh, Resistance that they released with the Resident Evil 3 remake. 
So it sounds like details of the operational period for Resident Evil Reverse, including a commencement of available and any potential announcements relating to the end of the service, can be found on the website. Depending on the time of your purchase, of Resident Evil Reverse may already no longer be available. Enter the title may become available through other means in the future. Huh. That's interesting. All right, it's gonna be it for the video today, guys. I uh, hope you guys did enjoy. If you guys did, leave a like down below. Subscribe if you are new to the channel. Um, it's been an absolute pleasure putting out all these videos recently. Uh, game is set to release on May 7th again. So uh, thank you guys for watching. I've been all game of shame, everybody, and I will see you guys in the next video or stream that I'm doing. Probably later tonight, I'll have an up Assassin's Creed video up for you guys. So thank you guys for watching. Been all game of shame, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, everybody. Tell me pretty lies, look me in the face, tell me that you love me.